Now it's time to turn to the weather here at home with meteorologist Jennifer Delgado. But I have to say, it's just devastating to hear what's going on over in Maui. Yeah, that's right. You know, so hard to see. You know, it's just hard to fathom that that wildfire came through there and just took out so much of that beautiful part of Hawaii. And as we talk about our weather, we know tomorrow we are going to be hot. We'll see those uh, temperatures returning into the mid 90s. And then we got a cool down coming for Tuesday and then rain returns but not until the end of the week. So I know a lot of kids going back to school tomorrow. You heard from our reporters, Nana, as well as uh, David Kaplan. And we know that tomorrow it is going to be a hot day outside. Right now, still pretty comfortable. We have 79 degrees in D.C., 73 degrees in Gaithersburg, and then 76 degrees in Quantico. Temperatures still a little bit warmer than they were this time yesterday. And also, the humidity has started to come back up. And that means we can have a case of the muggies on your Monday. And it's going to feel a little bit warmer than the actual temperature. And here's why, because those dew points are going back up. They were so comfortable this weekend. They were in the 50s, very dry air in place. But now it feels like 81 degrees, despite the fact the temperature is 79. So not too bad. But for tomorrow, we do have an air quality alert. We are going to be looking at a code orange air quality. So if you are in that sensitive group, make sure you limit your time outdoors. And that includes all across parts of the DMV. We look at satellite and radar. Uh, it is quite quiet across parts of the mid-Atlantic, the northeast, down towards the south. It's this big ridge that's protecting us, but it's also bringing extreme heat across parts of the deep south as well as into the Midwest. For us, as we look ahead for tonight, mostly clear skies, some clouds around tomorrow, and then we'll see a front coming through, and that's going to cool us off by the time we roll into your Tuesday. But for tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will be in the 90s. Now we go out to the west. We update you on tropical storm Hillary and Hillary right now bringing rainfall across parts of southwest portions of California as well as into Arizona and you can see where all the moisture is this is where Hillary is right now it's still tropical storm winds at 50 miles per hour as we go into the evening it's going to continue to quickly push to the north and then the winds will get down to about 40 miles per hour it's not so much of the winds that we're worried about it's about the heavy rainfall and across these areas uh, it's very airy we're looking at Palm Springs this is where we're going to be looking at problems with flooding as well as runoff so uh, certainly we will be watching out for our friends across parts of California. They still do have the tropical storm warning in place. First ever time they've actually had a tropical storm warning. We look at the rainfall totals, and as we go through the next 24 hours, we're expecting between two and three inches of rainfall. So that's why we're really concerned. But for us tonight, overnight low of 71 degrees in D.C. will be surrounded by the 60s. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting a high of 91 degrees here in D.C. Now, you're going to be shocked when you see this uh, seven-day forecast, because actually for tomorrow, we are going to be looking at a high temperature of 93 degrees in D.C. And then we drop down more than 10 degrees. Look at that. Tuesday, high of only 85, as we'll be looking at a front coming through. Then Wednesday, high of 82 degrees. And then as we look ahead by the end of the week, we start to see the 90s coming back again by Friday. And then cooler into the weekend with another shot of rainfall. Sierra.